What's up guys? So, I've had this 30 gallon tank with my two cichlids in it for a very long time. And I have never, still have not invested into a lid. I just had this on top of this. But then I was thinking, why well, buy a lid? I can just make a lid out of this. Make it fit so it's not all um, lopsided and stuff. So what I did, and what I'm going to do, and maybe this might help somebody else, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from here, the start of the filter, and it's the same filter on both sides. So I'm going to measure from the side of the filter to the tip of the glass where I want the lid to end on both sides, which for me I came up with oh, um, 9 inches and 3 quarters. So for that, I'm going to make it, I'm going to cut it to, let's say 13 inches. That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you why 13 inches a little bit later. So, my marker. Or actually, let's just make it. Let's see. Nine three quarters plus four would be nine three quarters, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and three quarters, right? So let's make it an even fourteen inches. Okay, so let me scribble out my old markers markings because I was originally going to cut it for 11 so we're going to do it at 14 inches and you want to make sure you're measuring on the straight side and this is why we're adding extra because there's a curve on the lid it's not just a straight edge so we're going to do 14 inches as many markings as you can On the straight side where there's no curves. So, boom. 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 Alright, so, 14 inches markings right here. Okay? So then what we're going to do is we need something long and straight. I have this, this piece of wood. And you're going to want to line up your markings. But you see, even with mines, it's not going to end up straight. It's still lopsided because this is old. So what I would do is don't worry about the ones in the middle. I would go just for the first two markings you made on each side where it was flat. You want to draw that line and then continue that line. And the trick is to keep the wood lined up with as much line as you can for the spot that you don't have line. And you should end up with a straight line. So, we're going to do just like that. And the same on the other side. Alright, now you could use shears and all that stuff. But all I have right now is one of these. So, I'm going to use this. And if this doesn't work out, I'm probably going to use a knife. But I'm not going to sit here and record that part. So I'm just going to do this. And then I'll come back. 
Alright guys, so I'm finished. The saw was actually very hard to keep it straight, as you can see. So then I actually switched over. I couldn't find my, uh, my pocket knife, so I switched over to my uh, just a kitchen knife. No uh, no teeth or anything on there, no, no serrated knives, just a straight edge knife. Um, if there's any kids watching this, or if you're not knife savvy, just remember always to cut away from you, not towards you. I didn't make you cut yourself. But, um, so you're going to end up with this. And from here, now you're going to remember, so I got nine and three quarters for my tank. Your tank's probably going to be different. Mine's is a 30 gallon. Uh, you're, I don't know what size tank you're, you're working with. Um, so from there, you're going to want to get your, your nine and three quarters. Maybe go, well, nine and three quarters should be fine. So you're going to go nine and three quarters. If you think you're going to mess up, you can go a little bit higher. That way you can just trim off the extra, just like this is straight right now on this other edge. But um, I'm going to trim that off later. It's not going to be straight at all eventually, but this is how we're going to get it the straightest. We basically just don't want this curved part on our tank. So I'm going, I'm just going to go straight up with the nine and three quarters. Well, maybe I'll give it an extra eighth. And this is going to be very hard because you probably, yeah, I'm going to give it up to 10 because I know my cut's not straight on both sides. So we're going to go 10 there, we'll do 10 See the 10 over here is going to be a lot lower. So for here, let's see. The 10 here looks like 9 and 3 quarters over there. So we'll do it 9, I mean 9 and 1 quarter. So we'll do it 9 and a half over here. And same here. Hopefully it works out. This is my first time trying this, so but maybe it'll work. And then we can all save money on our uh, on our fish tank lids. So now I got my second line, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So now, the final product. Well, it's still not trimmed. I'm not doing that today. But everybody knows how to trim stuff off to make it fit. But now, basically, all you want to do is see if it fits. And mine's, it fits just barely because of the heater. It could be a little bit longer. But, it works for me. I think I'm not even going to trim it. I'm going to keep it just like that. And I still have this space back here where I can feed them through. So there you guys have it. My homemade ghetto lid. It's not too sturdy though. Like, if my cat fall, jumps on it, it might, it might break. But, that's why I'm still trying to save up for a stand... But I went and bought that 55 gallon. Well, alright, there you go.